Hello and today we will be installing Couch TV onto an Ubuntu Linux server. As you can see we are running Ubuntu Desktop 12.0.4 and as of May 2012 the most current version of Couch TV is 1.2.0. So we're going to go ahead and start the installation process. Because we are going to be installing the most current version we're going to have to do it the uh, manual way. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and check for software updates for Ubuntu. Make sure that our OS is mo uh, currently up to date. It is. So we're going to come up here to the dash home and we're going to look for the terminal. So I'm just going to go ahead and drag this into our menu bar. And I'm going to go ahead and open this up. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to install all of the dependencies for CouchDB. So the first one is sudo app get build depend third one. As you can see, the install is pretty large. It's going to be 216 megabytes. So I'm going to go ahead and select yes and kick this off and I'm gonna go ahead and pause this video and let this finish and then we will resume when it's uh, done and we are back the first command is done so we're gonna go ahead and move to our second second command sudo app get build couch And we're going to hit yes. And again, I'm going to pause this until it's finished. And we are back. And the second one has finished up. So we're moving on to the third one. So sudo apt get install lib icu dev lib curl for ut. Dev. Select yes. All right, sudo app app get install auto make to Tool All right, moving on to the next one. App get install lib Mozilla JS dash dev. We have the most current one already, so going on to the next one. sudo app get install lib curl for open ssl dash dev. Last one is app get install open ssl lib ss ssl dev and we have the current one of that one okay now we're going to go ahead and uh, install the most current version of erlang and couchdb is using erlang as uh, its programming language so we're going to go ahead and go to wget HTTP colon Erlang dot org slash download slash OTP underscore SRC underscore R fourteen B zero three tar dot Z and I'm going to go ahead and pause this while this is downloading. 
and we are back as you can see it's done downloading so we're going to go ahead and unzip it Now we're going to go ahead and go into the folder that we just unzipped. And we'll do a dot configure. And then we will do a which open SSL slash usr slash bin slash open ssl and then we will do a dot con configure with dash ssl equals slash usr slash include slash open SSL slash let me just double check and I will pause the video again and let this finish up and we are back so the next command is make and this one will probably take 10 to 15 minutes. So again, I'm going to pause it and uh, let this finish up. And we are back. And the last command that we're going to use to finish this up is sudo make install. And now that we're done with Erlang, we're going to go ahead and go back to the root directory. And now we can actually start installing Couch uh, DB. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get the source code. Now what, am I, what I am typing in right now will fail, but um, I'm doing it just so I can show you a uh, nice feature of uh, Ubuntu. As you can see, I do not have SVN, which stands for Subversion Installed. So Ubuntu actually tells me exactly what I need to type in in order to install Subversion. What Subversion is, is a uh, version, manager, uh, version manager application for your source code. So CouchDB uses Subversion to uh, version their uh, source code. So just hit the up arrow key twice and we will download the source code for CouchDB. Okay, then we will move into the CouchDB directory. And then what we can do now is we can do dot dot boot boot strap. And then we can do dot configure. And then the last command is make and sudo make install. 
Now this will take a little bit of time. So again, I'm going to pause and uh, we'll be back when it's done. And the last thing we're going to do is going to clean up the directory. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to create a new user. And the user we're going to create... will have access rights to run Couch TV. So, it's on. And I'm going to pause this real quick to make sure that uh, what I typed in is right. It's really important to have these commands be right. Okay, I'm going to run this. So it's going to ask us for the password for the new user. So I'm going to enter in the password for the new user. And then we'll just give. some fake information about the user. Okay, now we're gonna give the command to give the user rights to run CouchDB. As you can see, we're going to give uh, this user uh, rights to four different directories. And again, I'm going to pause this real quick, make sure that what I typed in is correct. Okay, so I actually forgot a command. So I'm just going to go ahead and add that in. So this is the command that I forgot that I added in currently right now. And then we'll enter that. And then we will create a line in which it will allow us to start the CouchDB service. USR local. And if everything is correct, I should be able to do sudo service couchdb start. And there we go. We get the command that the database server has started. So if we go here and start up Firefox, we should be able to go to localhost colon 59. 84 and there we go uh, we get the couch db welcome and the version that we have is 1.3.0 so i apologize i think i said 1.2.0 at the beginning of the video i actually meant 1.3.0 so we're going to finish up this installation so i'm going to go ahead and close this out and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and stop the server. And what we're going to do next is that we're going to make sure that um, CouchDB is uh, avi uh, available to um, 
other computers on your network. So what we're going to do is we're going to go sudo and we're going to type in gedit. Now if you want to edit it, um, edit this file from the command line, you can use vi, but I really don't like the vi tool, so I'm going to go ahead and use gedit. And I'm going to type usr local ect couchdb local ini and this will bring up the editor and what we're looking for is this line right here and we're going to make this into all zeros and we're going to go ahead and save that close it out and then we're going to do the exact same thing to default ini again this opens up and we're going to look for the IP address again and then we will type zero we will type zero and zero going to go ahead and save that close it out and then we will do a couch db start again and then we will come here and we were looking for our connection information so 158.150 so let's go ahead and open up a web browser on my local desktop and type in 192 So nine two one six eight one fifty eight dot one fifty colon is it fifty nine eighty four and there we go now just minimize my VM instance of Ubuntu. And I can do is slash underscore utils, and this will bring me into Couch Futon, which is the front end to uh, Couch DB. And we're just going to come down here and we're going to go ahead and create a uh, admin user. So we're going to go in here, type admin, type in your password, select create. And now I'm logged in as an admin. Go ahead and log out. So right here, we're going to verify our installation. And then we'll collect, select that. Hmm. Let me pause this and look at this. Okay, and uh, I went back and I hit this, and uh, what I did was that uh, I went ahead and I logged back in as a admin before uh, I continued on. So it looks like everything's fine, installation looks fine, time to relax. And what it should have done is created uh, two, two databases right here, and you can go ahead and delete those uh, once you've verified your uh, installation. Okay, thank you.